today during our Farm Basics time, we're going to talk about fences. Let's start with weeds and how we get those weeds under control if there are fence lines around your property. Well, you notice a lot of things with fences where some areas they're mowed underneath them, some they're kind of weedy and just left to go. I like to leave the grass growing through the fence line because that's going to hold weeds down long term. Some people like to see it just completely black underneath the fence line. So your options for controlling the weeds are totally different. If you don't mind that, hey, I want it to be completely black under the fence line, you may use Roundup to kill everything. You may also use a ground sterilant if you feel you can get away with that and keep that ground completely weed free for a long period of time. Yep, so we used to do a lot of that around our farm and then what we discovered is if you don't stay up with that, that's where weeds grow. Instead of having grass grow there, now you have weeds. The other thing is you have more erosion out of there. So I didn't like either of those things, so we've kind of gone away from that and we just end up spraying usually 2,4-D or dicamba in that fence line depending on the crop that we're raising right next to it. Now if you're driving down the road and you say, well, okay, I get that, there's fence line here, but the next field, there's no fences. What's <laughs> yep. going on there? Okay, so when Darren and I were young, we had livestock around the farm, and what we'd do is we'd turn our cattle out onto corn stalks, like we're standing in right now, so they could scavenge around and eat whatever was left out there. Well, now we don't raise livestock ourselves. So we've actually taken all the fences out because it makes the farming and the weed control just a little bit easier. But every once in a while, you run into a situation like we bought some ground a few years ago, and the neighbor said, yeah, I'd like to put cattle out on my field here, and and so we need to fence it there and you have to pay half the cost. And I go, wait, wh what? I don't want cattle. I have to pay half the cost? Yep, that's the rule in a lot of states. It's a fence in, fence out rule. So you just have to check on what is the rule for your state. Maybe it's for your county or your township or your city. But where we are in South Dakota, it's a fence in, fence out rule. So I'm actually required to pay for half that fence if the neighbor wants to have livestock there. So it keeps the livestock off my property. And certainly there's a lot of areas where there are no fences because neither neighbor has any livestock and they just don't want to have to deal with the weeds or the grass under the fence. And so they pulled the fence out to make it a little easier with equipment and everything else. There's just a lot of reasons for why there are fences in some places and not fences in others. Well, we've talked about weed control a little bit on this show already, but we've got our Weed of the Week coming up later in the show. Can you identify this week's weed? 